Hello, Familia. <clears throat> this is John, chapter 10. I assure you, anyone who doesn't enter the sheep pen by the door but climbs in some other way is a thief and a robber. The one who enters by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. The doorkeeper opens it for him and the sheep hear his voice. He calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has brought all his own outside, he goes ahead of them. The sheep follow him because they recognize his voice. They will never follow a stranger. Instead, they will run away from him because they don't recognize the voice of strangers. Jesus gave this illustration, but then they didn't understand what he was telling them. So Jesus said again, I assure you, I am the door of the sheep. All who come came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep didn't listen to them. I am the door. If anyone enters by me, he will be saved and will come out or come in and go out and find pasture. A thief comes only to steal and to kill and to destroy. I have come, that's Lord Yeshua, so that they may have life and have it in abundance. I'm going to say it again. I have come so that they may have life and have it in abundance. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The hired man, since he is not the shepherd and doesn't own the sheep, leaves them and runs away when he sees a wolf coming. The wolf then snatches and scatters them. This happens because he is a hired man and doesn't care about the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my own sheep and they know me as the father knows me and I know the father. I lay down my life for the sheep. But I have other sheep that are not of this fold. I must bring them also, also, and they will listen to my voice. Then there will be one flock, one shepherd. This is why the Father loves me, because I am laying down my life, so I may take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down on my own. I have the right to lay it down, and I have the right to take it up again. I have received this command from my Father. Again, a division took a place among the Jews because of these words. Many of them were saying, he has a demon and he's crazy. Why do you listen to him? Others were saying, these aren't the words of someone demon possessed. Can a demon open the eyes of the blind? Glory, hallelujah. <laughs> then the festival of dedication took place in Jerusalem and it was winter. Jesus, and this is Hanukkah, by the way, <clears throat> that's the festival of dedication. Um, translation here, it took place in Jerusalem and it was winter. Jesus was walking in the temple complex and Solomon's colonnade. Then the Jews surrounded him and asked, how long are you going to keep us in suspense? If you are the Messiah, tell us plainly. Let's see. Or openly, publicly. <clears throat> in the last line, it says, how long are you taking away our life? That's a literal translation. How long are you going to keep us in suspense? But the literal translation from Greek means, how long are you taking away our life? If you are the Messiah, tell us plainly, or openly or publicly. I did tell you, and you didn't, you don't believe, Jesus answered them. The works that I do in my Father's name testify about me, but you don't believe because you are not my sheep. My sheep hear my voice. I know them and they follow me. I give eternal life and they will never perish, ever. No one will snatch them out of my hand. My Father who has given them to me is greater than all. No one is able to snatch them out of my Father's, out of the Father's hand. The Father and I are one. Literal is I and the Father, we are one. And in verse 26, it's just as I told you. But you don't believe because you are not my sheep, just as I told you. Okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that, that makes sense. Again, the Jews picked up rocks to stone him. Jesus replied, I have shown you many good works from the Father. Which of these works are you stoning me for? We aren't sto stoning you for a good work, the Jews answered, but for blasphemy, because you, being a man, make yourself God. Jesus answered them, <clears throat> Isn't it written in 
your scripture, I said, you are gods. And Psalm 82, 6. If he called those whom the word of God came to gods, then the scripture cannot be broken. Do you say you are blaspheming to the one the Father set apart and sent into the world? Because I said, I am the Son of God. If I am not doing my Father's works, don't believe me. But if I am doing them and you don't believe me, believe the works. This way you will know and understand that the Father is in me and I in the Father. Then they were trying again to seize him, yet he eluded their grasp. So he departed again across the Jordan to the place where John had been baptizing earlier, and he remained there. Many came to him and said, John never did a sign, but everything John said about this man was true. And many believed in him there. Hallelujah. May many believe in him here. In Jesus' name, may, may his will be done, obviously, in all things, at all times. In the mighty name, Jesus, I pray. But he does ask us to pray. And I do hope, by the way, that you join me in these prayers. Um, because they're, you know, just as much for me as they are for you as well. So, two or more. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you, familiar. <laughs>